direct you to uh, the website of the Twitter account, Women Kick Balls. That's uh, Jackie Gutierrez runs that website. Jackie's live on site in the press box at Terrero. So at 17 years old, my Uncle Joe asked me what I wanted to do after high school. And I said, I want to be a sports journalist for women's soccer, but I just have no idea how to do it. My name is Jackie Gutierrez, and I'm the founder of Women Kick Balls. What inspired me to pursue sports journalism was actually watching the 2011 Women's World Cup final against Japan. And I remember seeing just so much going on in the field in terms of the chances that the U.S. had and just the intensity of the game. And unfortunately, the U.S. lost in penalty kicks, which was really tragic. But seeing their response just really inspired me to achieve just even the things that I thought were impossible. I played soccer for nearly 10 years growing up and so watching that game I just knew just the competitiveness and the grit that goes behind the game as a player and I remember actually going to soccer practice and I would show up reading books and I was always just so fascinated with storytelling and so I knew I wanted to be a writer one day, I just didn't really have any idea what that actually looked like. Unfortunately my days of playing soccer came to an end when I was a senior in high school and even though I thought that was like the end of an era. Little did I know that it was actually the beginning of a new one. My Uncle Joe actually encouraged me to get writing experience as soon as I could. And so even before I was in college, I already had several years of writing experience for different publications. And I'm just so grateful for the ways that he's encouraged and challenged me in my career. And he's even just predicted some of the growth opportunities that have come my way. And so I'm just so blown away and grateful for his support. In 2019, I started Women Kick Balls, and I remember at first just having nine email subscribers, and I thought that was such a crazy idea. And now I have thousands of email subscribers from around the world, and that still just blows my mind. But I'm so grateful for all the support and just ways that I've grown in my professional career as well. Ever since I started pursuing my career, I never felt like there was anyone that looked like me in terms of being a young Hispanic female journalists in the media and so now I get to add those levels of diversity as well to this career path and just hope that others can see someone that looks like them as well. I never had a role model in that way and so now I get to be the journalist or be the person that I always wanted to see in the media. So I've actually spent five years studying journalism and communication and in 2021 I graduated from the University of Oregon and that was just such an incredible milestone because I finally felt like I was in the right place to grow as a professional. I really see how that experience just shaped so much of who I am and as someone who never planned to make it past high school, that's just another example of how I continue to surprise myself just every day through these opportunities that come my way. One of the things that I love most about what I do is getting to connect with so many people because of soccer. From just messages on social media to just game days where I get to meet people in person. It's just so exciting to see the way that we all get to come together because of soccer and just how we're a part of it as well. And on top of that, I also get to work with just some of the most incredible athletes, coaches, and soccer organizations. So it's really exciting just to see my dream job come to life. And in being in this journey on the freelancer route now, I think being self-employed is also intimidating, but it's exciting to think about all the ways that I can continue to grow as well. So I think it's just so important to strip the doubts of your high school self and find yourself on Uncle Joe because big things can happen. <laughs>